In my last video, I talked about iOS 18 and all of the new features to be expected this fall. I also talked a little bit about Apple Intelligence, so in this video, I'll be talking about watchOS 11, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, like the video, and also check out my iOS 18 video. Sequoia brings Apple Intelligence to Mac, so I'm expecting some pretty cool features to coincide with this. You know, besides all the custom emojis, writing and language tools, and Siri. Oh, speaking to Siri. Now you'll be able to ask Siri to retrieve files that somebody sent to you. Compatibility with your iPhone and other Apple devices will be improved with Sequoia as well. You'll be able to mirror activity on your iPhone in real time and control it without having to reach for your iPhone. And you'll be able to see iPhone notifications alongside notifications on your Mac, as well as dragging and dropping images and other stuff from your Mac to your iPhone. Multitasking between windows have gotten a lot easier. You can arrange them into side-by-side -side tiles on your desktop or fit them into corners. That way your Mac appears to be less cluttered and it's easier to jump between apps on your desktop. Sequoia will also feature a password app to help you find passwords, verifications, and security alerts with end-to-end -end encryption across Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Now Notes also got an upgrade, as you'll be able to record audio sessions within your notes to generate live transcripts and combine them with other comments, checklists, or documents. You'll be able to type in numbers to evaluate expressions and assign variables. So instead of using some third-party app or calculator, you can just do all your math on notes. Now, let's talk about some new features with watchOS 11. The Apple Watch has three rings that track your physical activity. With watchOS 11 and Apple Intelligence, you have the option to pause your rings for a day, a week, or even a month. You'll also be able to adjust your activity ring goals for every day of the week. You can even add or remove metrics on your fitness app. And now, with watchOS 11, you'll be able to keep track of your overnight vitals. So this will keep track of your heart rate, respiratory rate, blood, oxygen, and sleep duration. It'll even give you context for factors involved in abnormal sleep patterns. This can be an illness, medications, or alcohol. I guess this is where Apple Intelligence really comes into play as photo resolution is enhanced by analyzing photos from your library to select the best composition and framing to put on your watch screen. You can even choose from the search filter if your photo includes pets, people, cities, or nature. The font, text color, and layout of your time display can be changed to fit your watch screen as well. There will be new gadgets that show up based on time, location, and the weather. You can even access three items you used most recently in an app on the widgets. Also, when you're going for a workout, for instance a run or jog while it's dark outside, for safety measures you can start a workout and use a check-in feature at the same time to notify someone from the workout app. Finally, let's talk about iPadOS 18. Well one, the iPad, after so long, it has the calculator app. It takes advantage of the large screen to show different commands, and it even allows you to look over your history of calculations. For instance, if you write an equation down on math notes with an Apple Pen, not only will iPadOS solve it automatically, but the answer will be in the form of your handwriting. Math notes can even generate a graph using written variables. You're allowed to alter the value of these variables to see how it changes on the graph. Speaking of notes, with the new smart script feature, you're capable of moving around words and text, make your handwriting look more refined, and even erase words and letters by scratching them out. The iPad will also have something similar to the iPhone 15's dynamic island, except instead of just showing relevant information, it actually works as a shortcut that just floats at the top of your screen, no matter what app you're on, allowing you to quickly change between apps on your iPad. There you have it, a brief rundown of what these system updates have to offer. I'm really excited for all this and I honestly can't wait to test them out. For more content, please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel.